In the next 24 hours, I will try to drop ship a product with absolutely no money. By the end of the day, I will either make it to the top Green and be air. Bugatti rich, or continue filling out my McDonald's worker application. I will be applying my own creative strategies and secret sauces to make some profit. And TikTok organic, I won't be using that. I will use my new favorite YouTube shorts. I've got some crazy algo hacks to exploit. Spoiler alert, I did make a profit. Oh yeah. All right, let's begin. Drop shipping, the internet famous business, the so-called get rich quick scheme. While this business has a bad reputation, I still love this method as this is probably one of the easiest ways one can make serious money online. While people say it's getting hard and way too saturated in 2023, I say otherwise. I still think there's a massive opportunity in this field and one can still get into it and make profits. So in this video, I will try to drop ship a product with a $0 budget and prove that drop shipping is not dead and you don't need thousands of dollars to get started. Normally, the first step is to find a winning product, right? But, well, I don't want to do that in this video. Rather, I want to sell one of the generic products as realistically anyone who starts in this business has a hard time finding a winning product. My goal for this video is to drop ship this cat sticker and make a profit out of it. I will explain the exact reasoning for picking this product later in the video. Okay, before moving any further, I would like to present you my master plan for marketing because this is what I'm most excited about. I have tested it a few times before, but not for dropshipping. I've been cooking this for weeks now, but I finally figured some things out and decided to make a video about it. Everyone on YouTube talks about TikTok organic reach on these $0 challenges. While for the most part, this is good, there's only one limitation. You cannot put a link in the bio for your product until you reach 1,000 followers, which again takes time, so it's a delay in your money-making process, something my landlord wouldn't want to wait for. So let me present you the YouTube Shorts Low Views method. Let me explain. If you have any experience with TikTok, then you may have noticed that whenever you upload a video, it reaches a certain number of views on almost every video you initially upload, and if the algorithm finds that it has good enough engagement, then it will push it to more viewers else the views start to flatline. This same thing happens with shorts too, but YouTube has two things that can absolutely change our game, and the second one is something that can change dropshipping for beginners completely. The first one is the ability to put links in the comment. This is a feature that TikTok still does not have, and you can do this right from zero subscribers. From day one, you can actually start to share your product links. You don't need to wait until you get a thousand followers. Simple, right? Now, to the second one. Okay, you might want to get comfortable because the things I'm about to explain to you in the next two minutes will probably blow away your mind. Okay, so the concept that I explained to you just now about the TikTok algorithm happens with the YouTube Shorts too. But YouTube has this thing called seed audience. Given the amount of data Google has about each individual user, it is able to separate its audience into different boxes each box resembling one type of niche, and this can get super specific. Suppose you like cat videos, then you will be put into the box of cat niche, and you will be served with videos that were liked and engaged by the other members from that cat niche box. And if you watch through the video, then it will be shown up more to the other members of that box. It builds a feedback loop mechanism. But things get interesting for recently uploaded shorts. Now this is where you need to pay attention closely. Say I uploaded a video about cars, YouTube will immediately scan the title of the video and push the video to the members of the car box. It won't show the video to everyone, but a very specific group who has previously judged a video well and have a very high interest in cars because YouTube knows that if the video can satisfy this group of people, then it gets confirmation that this short is good and it can push it to more people, but if it fails, then it will stop pushing the video. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the exact same thing you do when you target someone with ads, right? You pay Facebook or TikTok to show up your product to a very specific group of people around the same niche. If you are a dog lover, then you are shown ads for dog products because advertisers know that you love dogs, hence you will buy from them. Do you see the connection? I do not have to make perfect shorts and hope to get viral. All I need to make simple shorts and just upload them with my product link in the comment. I know it won't crack millions of views, and honestly, I don't care. YouTube will give me free advertisements during their testing phase anyways. I basically figured out a strategy to make money even from a failure. Do watch this part again if you didn't understand the technicalities of it. It's hard to get it initially. 
Now, full disclaimer, this method is only good for getting your first few sales. You cannot scale with this to get dozens of sales, but it's perfect for someone who is just starting out. Your first Shopify notification for your first sale is enough to make you go full into it without actually getting bothered with those Facebook and TikTok ads from the first day. And this strategy is perfect for my zero dollar challenge. Now it's time for me to post shorts. If you've watched any of my previous videos, then you will quickly recognize my love for memes. I even built a whole business around it. So why not post shorts about this too and make my products surrounding the same niche? This is the exact reason for choosing this product. This cat is a famous meme and people around the world love it. My plan is to make this cat my channel's sole identity and put the meme above the cat's face. So if I link my product in the comment sections, I will probably get some clicks and hopefully make some sales. I initially wanted to use Shopify and do print on demand there. Still, Shopify costs $1, which I'm not allowed to use in the $0 challenge, so I went with a platform called Teespring, which is similar to Shopify but free and mostly used to outsource print on demand products. The product cost is $4.50 and I will be selling it at $7.99. That's a $3.49 profit, not bad. Let's get it into action. My idea, product, and market strategy are ready. All I now need to do is to create the shorts and upload them. Okay, so I will here, I will quickly download some memes from r slash memes and r slash dank memes. Doesn't matter if I find them funny or not, someone will for sure. Now pull them to my video editor and place them above the cat photo. But here is another hack I will use. I will make each short of around five seconds. This will increase my total retention overall, as the time needed to read the memes is higher than the five seconds, so it will dramatically increase my retention, making the YouTube algorithm believe that the video is good, so it needs to push it more. All right, I've made 10 shorts in total, and I think this should be enough for the day, as anything above this will make YouTube believe that I'm spamming, which ultimately will result in getting shadow banned. I will quickly create the channel and upload my first video on the channel. Okay, it's been some time, and surprisingly, the video did get views. Right after two hours of posting the video, got 330 views. Not bad, huh? Seems like my strategy's working so far, but unfortunately, I didn't receive many clicks from it. All right, I think I figured out the issue. Most often, people open up the comment section to read through the comments rather than posting one. My video has no comments on it yet, so there's nothing for the viewer to open and read. But I do a solution for this. If I comment on these videos using another account, then technically I created an engagement for the viewers to read, and while reading, they will see this link to the product and hopefully I will get a sale. Let's get this into action. I will just add some random comments since my motive is to just get them to open the comment section, not to impress them with my commenting skills. Let's wait for an hour, then I will check back again. Okay, great news! The strategy did work, and few people did click on those links, but I haven't received any sales yet, but the rest of the day is still there for things to change. Quickly, I will upload the video next three videos and wait out what happens. Hopefully, the plan works out. Guys, guys, it's been just two hours of posting my three videos, and seems like the algorithm picked it up. The video is getting shown to the people who love memes. How do I know? Because I got my first sale. Ha, <laughs> I can't believe this. My strategy worked, and I'm sorry I couldn't make this dramatic like other YouTubers because I suck at making videos, but my plan worked. Holy shit, I made a profit of $3.49. It's less, yes, but considering that it was all free marketing and with a strategy that hasn't been tested before, it's, it's gold for me. The day still hasn't ended yet. Maybe, maybe I can get a few more sales. Let me just upload a few more shorts. All right, the last three of the last four shorts did not get any views, but one of them has started to rise. Let's see how it goes. There are people visiting the site from the link, so most probably I will get a sale. Okay, it's 11 p.m. right now, and the last video that I uploaded got 600 views and one more person just bought my sticker. Seems like I won the challenge. I don't think I'll be getting any more sales, so I guess the challenge ends here. So in total, we got 57 visitors and two sales. That's a conversion rate of 3.5%. Honestly, I expected this to be less. I did anticipate getting one sale, but getting two sales for this product was definitely surprising. This was most probably due to the product being just $7.99. It's a low-priced product, anything higher would have probably failed. 
In both purchases, the buyer selected the lower size sticker where my profits were $3.49, so in total I made $6.98, or $7. I get it's not like the results other YouTubers achieve on these 24 hour results. But given the fact that I did it without spending a dollar and with a product that is this generic, well, I think I did a pretty solid job. Also, the videos died out, as I expected. I did not create anything good short. My target was just to show these videos to the targeted audience, which I did pretty well. You can check out that channel. I will link it down in my description. So I guess that's it. Dropshipping still works. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars on ads to get your first sale. Little innovative ideas that are laid out properly will get you success too. Because remember, it only takes one right step one right decision and one right idea to change your life. And while you may have convinced yourself that no matter what you do, someone will do it better, someone will have a better plan than you, there is no point in doing something groundbreaking or novel. Whoever the greats are, whoever you follow, remember that they had the same doubts. They were immensely interested in and devoted to something. A long time of confusion doesn't mean you are slow, but rather it shows you care. You care about what you do and what you want to achieve. Doesn't matter how long it takes as long as you are ready to put in that extra effort, polishing that very last great idea you had. It will work out because remember, all it takes is one right step. Thank you for watching guys, hope this video helped. Do subscribe to my channel, I have tons of experiences to share. Also, I've recently created my weekly mailing list, do subscribe to that too, it's completely free. I promise I won't spam you guys. Bye!